what's up guys welcome back and hope you're all doing well thank you so much for tuning in kaire hit that subscribe button like this video and i hope you enjoy this about the maasai culture so uh i want to wind up my maasai mara journey as you know this community of maasai live uh, near the jungle close to the animals and I we visited the Maasai and uh, the first thing is this welcoming dance they give us uh, they are so good people <laughs> and we wanted to know more about their culture and after this dance uh, we had a chance to talk more about their culture and uh, the, how they live uh, with the animals and uh, most of them told us about their life and uh, <laughs> about this culture they told us that every maasai when you reach the age of 15 you have to go to the jungle and stay there with the animals for five years so you get out of that place after when you're 20 years and <laughs> that time is when you mature and you get strong and that time you have to at least know even how to survive in the jungle with the animals so that's when you become a Maasai Moran and more of their culture they even showed us how their houses look like and you'll be shocked these houses are just small but uh, there's a bedroom for the family there's a bedroom for the visitors there's a bedroom for the kids and then there's a house for the small animals like the cows, the calves and the, the, the calves because you know they have many cows. And they told us that sometimes even the animals come. You see here they are, it's just near the jungle. Some like lion come to eat their cows. And uh, they, they, they even know the sound of the lion. They, if the lion passes near their house, they know that is the sound of the lion. So they have stayed with the animals until they know how each and every animal behaves. And it was shocking how they are strong. They are weapon. They just have the, this uh, rungu and uh, this jora and this jora, this thing on the waist. And that is their weapon and that's all. And uh, they told us even the animals knows the the Maasai clothes, the, the way their clothes look. So if the animals see the Maasai, they know them. And uh, they are not afraid of the animals. <laughs> And this was so shocking guys i cannot believe uh, this is how i cannot believe how they live and uh, they told us that even there are some trees they make some powder and apply to their animals so that when the lion come it will uh, it will run away because of the smell so it will not be able to attack their cows yeah and that's it but they again they are so friendly people <laughs> Okay, am about like Masai na wanyama. How do you say with animal? How do you? Yani hamuogopi wanyama? Anataka kulala. How? 
Actually, we came to see Masai uh, Manyata, their houses, and first we go the dance, and we go the they give us their attires to wear, and uh, yeah, you can look at this. Then uh, I'm going to show you the Manyata how they look like. And funny thing, you learn about how they they light their fire when they're in the forest. So for them, they not don't need to buy a match a matchbox. Yeah, or a lighter. This is how they make fire when they're in forest. They can drink some blood from the animal, from their cows. They can uh, slaughter a cow when they're in the forest. That is their food. So their common food is this uh, beef. Yeah, and that's how it was. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> You've not seen you seen in minutes, five minutes. I love is it something that you need drama. That's how you like your fire when you're you're hunting, yeah? Nachoma nini. Nachoma boozy. Nyamachoma. How do you make barbecue? Oh. Okay. Wow. Yes. Like for real, I'm a free for tourism.